Model, television host, and winner of Big Brother Africa 5 All Star, Uti Wanchuku, is currently wondering why entertainers still get married. He feels everyone is disrespecting the institution. Yeah, so I think that was a comment on a post, but trust bloggers to make something out of it. Um, I mean, I get where he's coming from. If you, you do. keep, I think I do, <laughs> but I don't totally agree. I would not say because you are an entertainer that you don't have a shot at being married and staying married. I mean, we have couples that are doing it, regardless of what we think might be going on inside their space. All we know is they, they are still together and they are fine. We have um, Jokesiv and what's the husband's name? Olu Jacobs. Olu Jacobs. They are there. They are fine. And we can, I mean, Peter Joche is still married, right? He's an entertainer. There's there are a lot of them you can mention, right? But the thing is, the bad news would always spread faster. It will always be in our faces. It's called, it's called um, the, the spiral of silence, mm -hmm. where the, the good, the bad news always is blown out of proportion over what is what, what good has happened. Yeah, so yeah. I agree that um, we're beginning to disrespect the institution of marriage, but I do not agree that um, entertainers should stay away from marriage. That's where I'm standing on this one because they are human beings uh, and they want love also. I'm trying to understand Uti Wanchuku's point here mm -hmm. because this is it, right? Um, I, I was married once. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think um, in the 21st century, you may mention the two names who are very, they're very traditional people, traditional and they are setting in their thoughts, in their ways. Mm -hmm. And so it was easy for marriage to work that easy, easy in our parents' days. Well, because why would the you say whole, easy? The, the whole doctrine of submission mm. was, was the emphasis. Have you listened to a Joker Silva talk about her well, marriage? On, she on. does not understand hold what on. submission. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, now, because submission in, in those days is not necessarily what submission is, because submission is actually your decision to submit, to, to give yourself over to somebody. Mm -hmm. All right. But it was more like slavery, whether you like it or not. I'm the man of the house, so you do whatever I wanted to do. If this institution, this marriage is going to work, I call the shots. All right. um, but it's the 21st century. The whole institution of marriage, I feel, as a matter of personal opinion, that there has to be a lot of deconstruction of the things that is set as rules and expectations for it to work in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. But what's his quote from the angle that many people, I believe this is what he was trying to say, many people, many celebrities who are getting married know at the end of the day they're not willing, they're not ready, they're not prepared to keep to their vows. They will still want to play around. They will mm -hmm. still want to philander and have their way around. Then why go into such a holy union where you expect it to be just you and your partner? Mm -hmm. So if you feel you're going to be married and you still want to play around, then you don't necessarily need to come into that union. So that is a disrespecting he's talking about right there. Because mm -hmm. there are a whole lot of people in, in Nollywood, not just Nollywood, uh, who are married, but they don't, they don't respect the, the second vows they took at that altar. It's going to be just me and you. My buddy will be just for you alone. No, your buddy's for I and for every other... Uh, or even a girl around town. Well, so that is disrespecting the institution. Yeah, of I get it. But I don't, be, I don't agree that it was easier then. I mean, it, not. It was I easier. don't. That's one. And the secondly, when it comes to keeping vows and marriages, it does not just end with sex and the body. There are a lot of things that yeah. go on. When I'll it comes be, we'll to be understanding and, and all, it's never sick, please. That, it's that, no that vow for, is not it's the no point. It's no longer for better, for worse. It's, if it's not for, it has to be always for better. Once it's looking like it's about to get worse, What I'm do you mean by door. worse? Things happen down the way in marriage. What you things? Could, it could be anything. I mean, sickness could come in. Um, mm -hmm. Trying times, challenges and could come in. Let's could, put it in context. Let's put it in context. Yeah. So these people, Uti, is talking about right now. Yeah. Do you think it's, they've left or they've broken their marriages because of sickness or things like that? What he was talking in the context of every, every time... He was talking about anything. entertainers. Yes, entertainers, mm -hmm. yes. Because he's in the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. Every time you do anything outside the vow you made to your partner, you're disrespecting the union. You're disrespecting the institution of marriage. Mm. You vow to your partner, it's just going to be me and you. Mm. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to provide. I'm going to do this. So anything outside of that... Is she disrespecting? So when you say we have to deconstruct the idea of marriage and all that, yeah. nobody sets this rule. We set these rules for ourselves. Thank you very much. So when it comes to marriage, yes. it's an individual journey. You and your partner have to make it work. But so society if you are holding it's not about no society you. can everybody it's has expectations called, of everybody. So if you want to live up to that expectation, it is your business. But if you really want to make your marriage work, then you will understand that it is about you and your partner and what makes it work 
for you to, not LC, what society I listen, expects. I, I, I hear you when you say what you say, but there's something called collective socialization. We, mm. we, can't, we can't deny it. it. It runs in all things. It does, know. but if in your own happiness you are considering uh, uh, what collective you call it now, socialization, then you're not ready to be happy because you <laughs> cannot please everyone. Even the person you have decided to be with, you cannot completely please them, but you have to decide to say we want to be in this for the long haul. That's how my, I feel about point, it. My point, I think I totally well, agree. Anyway. I totally agree with you on that one. If you know mm -hmm. at the end of the day you're not ready for it and you're going to go in there and be disrespecting the union and the things that society has placed that you're meant to respect in the bond of that institution, mm -hmm. there's no point. You know the annoying part? Mm -mm. It takes two. So I that's agree. the annoying part.